Robert, the New York Times editorial board has a fairly scathing editorial this morning, which basically says in the, in the interim, as the Republicans have sort of mirthfully watched the, the botched rollout, they have gotten basically a free pass on immigration reform, on their, I think, highly controversial stance stripping food stamp funding from the farm bill, on budget negotiations. They haven't had to do anything. Is there any thinking inside Republican circles that, hey, what if the website does start working, and then where are we left as a party? We have these fights that have not yet actually, I think, come to conclusion between various factions of the Republican Party, and there is no actual policy that we can put forward in the new year. Is there any, is there any acknowledgement of that? Oh, well, I think Republicans before the October 1st implementation and after we're always planning to run on Obamacare in 2014. The question now is how many seats will that yield in the Senate and how many seats will that yield in the House in terms of the problems making Republicans have some gains. I think Republicans now are sitting in the bleachers observing the scene. They're, they're a little tired from their own civil war with the shutdown and they're watching Democrats fight over the implications of the website and other, other parts of the law. Uh, but I think Republicans now are understanding that in 2014 they have to come forward with some kind of policy alternative. So as much as they rally against the current ACA, what's the Republican plan what's the right. Republican proposal um, Senator Manchin one last question for you in terms of your personal experience here are you hearing from your constituents are they angry have you been hearing good and bad stuff what is it what what is it what is it like to to walk a day in Senator Manchin's shoes uh, <laughs> this week well anytime I'm in West Virginia it's a great day uh, and with that being said I do hear from people all over my state and there are people very upset there are people basically that don't have accurate information. They want to be able to, again, I keep going back to shop. <laughs> they want to shop, Alex, and it's just as simple as that. And I think when they do, they will be able to find out. We don't want to go back to where we pay more for health care in this country than most any Indeed. nation on earth. And we rank very poor, 35th, 37th <clears throat> in, in, in wellness. You can't go back there. And I said, this should be a transition year. This should be a working year. The bill that I, myself, and Mark Kirk, Republican yep. from Illinois, truly trying to give it time it, to work itself out. And the only direction to go is indeed forward. I'm sorry, Senator, I have to cut you off because no we do problem. need to transition to a next piece of news. Thank you for your time.